Good morning everybody, um, it is Thursday today and I have the day off and I thought because um, I literally wasn't in any of the weekend vlog just gone that I would make my own little special Christmas vlog day. So today I've got a few things planned. I'm meeting my friend Matt for lunch, then I have to go into work for like half an hour just to do something and then I need to go get Ash a few little stocking fillers from Sainsbury's and I might come back and wrap a few bits. I want to do some Christmas baking. So basically this is like the last day I have before actual Christmas off that I'm not doing anything because I have Sunday off but we're going to my parents for like a Christmas meal. And then I have next Wednesday off but I'm going to Blue Water with my brothers so they can do their Christmas shopping. And then my next day off from that is Christmas Day and obviously I can't go Christmas shopping on Christmas Day. So we're going to do all that today. Um, I've literally just woken up and had a shower. The time is, my phone isn't even on, brilliant. I don't know. I think the time is about half ten. Um, I woke up about nine and just been pottering about on my phone for a bit and then I had a shower. So now I'm just going to do my hair and makeup because this is literally what I look like when I wake up. And yeah, and then we're going to get on with the day. I think I'm meeting Matt first, but if I have time, I'll pop to Sainsbury's first. Let's just see how quickly I can get ready. I'm really slow at getting ready, so it always takes me absolutely ages, but fingers crossed it doesn't take too long today. I've kind of made a makeshift stand for you there, because um, I just was going to do another little time lapse. I tried to do one before Ash's um, birthday night out, but because it was a night out, I, I don't know, I just stopped and it didn't go very well. So I'm going to try and do the whole routine so you can see me go from this to looking rel relatively awake and human. Let's give it a go. Ready. Um, I asked Ash last night to charge this camera and he did not so I have a flashing red battery so I'm hoping it will last while I'm out um, fingers crossed or if I'll come back and charge it I've got my Tanya Bakes book with me because I'm going to get some ingredients to do some baking today and I think I'm going to head into town I expect it to be really busy but it is almost Christmas but I do need to go in which is annoying so I will probably see you when I decide where we're going to eat. So I've just got to my local shopping centre and I've had to park on floor 11. I am sitting in the back of my car right now because I just went to grab all my stuff and change my shoes. But floor 11! Ugh! 
Christmas is the worst. This battery is flashing again. I have a solution. I found Ash's portable charger and it was fully charged. So I'm going to use that today, I think, and just hope we can keep some kind of charge. Um, where's my hair going? We're doing okay. Uh, so I'm just going to pop in, wait for Matt. I have a look on a few shops and then go for lunch in one of the new places, which should be awesome. Um, if you didn't know, I think we've shown you in vlogs before, but our shopping centre's like extended and had a big like restauranty bit and they've now opened that. So I'm gonna go, oh, it's flashing. I'm gonna go check that out and hopefully we'll be able to see all with the charge. We'll see. Fingers crossed. I say that a lot. Never mind. I'm still crossing my fingers. <laughs> yeah. So that meeting at work that was meant to take 20 minutes, half an hour, ended up taking like, I think about two hours, maybe a bit more, which isn't the best on your day off. So I'm a bit behind on what I wanted to get done. I went to Byron with my friend Matt for lunch, but it was really busy and they were being really slow. So I didn't get a chance to film in there. Apart from, I think I took a picture of the menu. <sighs> um, so now I'm heading to Hedge End to go to Sainsbury's and the Marks and Spencer's there. It's about half an hour away from here, so it's not too bad as long as the roads aren't too busy. So obviously I'm not going to film when I'm driving, so I will see you when we get there. This car park is even more busy since I got here earlier. I hate Christmas time shopping, but needs must. So I finally made it to Marks and Spencer's. I literally missed the turning like twice. I'm such a bad driver. And I've parked really badly as well. I just can't get it. Like the basic of driving, like starting and stopping, fine. Directions, parking, not my thing. So um, I'm gonna come in today and get hopefully Ash a few little stocking fillers. Um, and then I need to get, we're doing this advent thing at work where it's like basically if you do a certain thing each day, you get a prize. And um, so I need to buy a few of those and maybe look at the Marks and Spencer's party food. Might get some Sainsbury's chicken gyoza because it's like amazing. And then I was hoping to get back before Ash got home so I could wrap some of his presents, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I really wanna do some baking as well. There's not enough hours in the day. So let's see what we can find in here. I'm hoping it's gonna be super Christmassy and they're gonna be giving out free samples of things like Christmas drinks and food and I can just Phil Jolly in Marks and Spencers and Sainsbury's. They're joined. I'm in Hedge End where there's like a massive one. So I will take you around with me and see what we can see. I've got such a bad headache today. I don't know why. I drank loads of water at work. So hopefully that will help. I drank water at lunch. I'm just really tired. And then I got to work really early tomorrow. So I can't have a late one. My car's really dirty again. It makes me really sad. I only got cleaned like recently and I stupidly paid a lot to get clean because I was like, oh, I only need to do it once in winter. Yeah, turns out I don't really understand how the weather works. So <laughs> that didn't work out. Um, Let's go. Could just have a little nap in here beforehand. You don't have to pay to park. <laughs> uh. <laughs> at Mark's. I don't know how much I was able to get. I tried to put you on the trolley but I don't know if that really worked out. Um, I'm gonna try and head home. It's only 20 to 5 I think but it's like I can see the traffic all around here already. So I think it's gonna take me a while to get back but I've officially finished Christmas shopping. I don't need to get anything else. I'm all done. It's amazing. So I think I'm gonna make some mince pies tonight and I bought some kits from Marks and Spencer's where you can like make your own marshmallows and things like that. So then I'm going to go with that when I get in 
and maybe watch a Christmas film. But I will probably check in when I'm really stressed out after we've driven home and it's been horrendous because of the traffic. So I'll see you in a bit. I'm very aware that I spend most of my time vlogging in the car. Um, I've just got back. The traffic was it was pretty bad. Uh, it wasn't as worse, as, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, but it was still pretty, pretty bad. Um, and it's started to pour with rain now, literally just as I pulled up. And I have lots of wash, um, lots of shopping that I need to take in. And I want Ash's help, but he's not home yet. So I'm like, do I sit here and wait for him to get home? And get him to help me with the shopping? Or do I just take it myself and man up? Hmm, probably going to sit in the car. <laughs> <laughs> just listen to my CD jam and then when he gets here I'll just be like help me take the shopping out the boot yeah that sounds like what I would do don't judge me the Christmas tree lights make me so happy they're literally the first thing I turn on when I come home I've already put some presents under there because I was helping Santa out so uh, we've already got a couple that I've wrapped and I think I'm going to give the house a quick tidy and then maybe do some baking. It's about half five now, so it's been a long day and I've literally done like nothing, which is annoying, but hey ho, look at this pretty Christmas tree. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Love it. So I've tidied up a little bit, Ash is home now, and we're gonna be having, what are we having, Oaxaca? Tacos. Tacos. So we've already started laying the table, with the plates. What kind of cheese have we got? Mixed oh, cheese, uh, Cholula, which is my favorite hot sauce. What's in the pot? Is that the salsa? Yeah, it's the habanero salsa. And then I've got one of my Yankee candles burning. I'll probably move it away from the table when we eat, but it is. It's in a really cool Christmas pot and it's sugared apple and it smells amazing and Christmassy. Not too Christmassy though. The really Christmas ones I haven't brought out yet, but uh, it's running out. That's okay. I've got like a billion other candles to replace it. And I'm pretty excited. And the Grinch is sitting up there, chilling with our Christmas cushions. Chicken tacos, yum, yum, yum. Because I forgot to take the pastry out of the freezer to make mince pies, I think I'm gonna actually make some of these tonight. And they are Christmas chocolate orange marshmallows. And it's pretty easy. I just got these from Marks and Spencer's when I was there earlier. You just literally add water and it makes 24 marshmallows. So I think that sounds pretty easy and pretty fun. So I'm going to give this a go. What do I need to do? Probably shouldn't maybe read this through the camera. Uh, comes with a tray. Got to dust it. Put some icing sugar. Add some other things. And then make marshmallows. Do you want to help me make marshmallows, Ash? I'll point a camera at you while you do it. Okay. Take everything out. So I need to assemble the card tray provided. Oh, they even give you a tray, that's cool. Yeah, I know, it's cool, isn't it? What's in this? Right the Chocolate. Side. Outside of tray. Okay. How do I assemble said tray? Okay, we have our box. Our tray. Just dump all this in. <coughs> no. I think, so I need to dust the base and sides of the cardboard tray with half the ice and sugar and corn flour. Big mound of caster sugar in the pan. And then you've got to add some water, don't you? Like a sugar paste. Yeah, you're making a syrup. Oh. Making a sugar syrup. This is how I pretty much made that smoked syrup that I use. Oh, really? Yeah, lots of sugar, lots of sugar, a little bit of water. Brings the boil, it's too low. Simmer down, you. Oh. Making the marshmallows. And then you've got to prepare your gelatin. Yes. Which vegetarians can't eat? No. I like that we don't have to wear anything. Yeah, I really like these kind of ready-made packs when I can't be bothered to do anything. Like, it's just a quick way of making a snack that you could be like, I made it myself, but really, you, you did, but you don't have to yeah, weigh anything out. Oh, crystallized. And we just put the water in and leave it for five minutes. That's cool, I don't need to mix it. Getting thicker. Getting there, almost a marshmallow. It's getting there, pretty much there now. Pretty much a marshmallow. Can I add the chocolate in a second? Yeah, chocolate 
all mixed in. Now I've got to go in the fridge for two hours. So we'll see you in two hours. I feel I didn't put enough underneath because I've still got loads left in here. What did I say? Shut up. That's fine. In you go into the fridge. So we're in the middle of watching The Apprentice, but the marshmallows are ready. So we're going to get them out and Sarah's going to try and cut them now. Oh, this is not And then we're going to eat them and see how good they are. Hopefully we can cut them and eat them. We'll just... Okay. You've got icing sugar all over the side now. Yes. Wait, how many portions do I need to put it into? It says six by four. I have maths that I'm not good at, right. Okay, well, do fours and then half and then half and half. No, do it in half, then cut each strip in half. Oh, look at those layers. <laughs> yeah, it turned out all right. Look at the awesome Christmas pudding that I got. It's Persian Spiced by Heston. Let's find the picture, look at the picture. It's all gold and looks amazing. Sarah doesn't even like Christmas pudding, so this is like completely all for me. Just, you know, maybe over a few days. Maybe. Maybe. And there we go. I made a bunch more, but they wouldn't fit on the plate. They look pretty good though. They do. Are you happy with them? Yeah, let's eat them and see what they like. Not all of them, obviously. Should we have two each? I just want one. Try one and see if they're good. Really good. <laughs> good hot chocolate. That's crazy talk. Look. What a fun little evening project. Mm -hmm. So my lipstick is all faded, my hair's up in a ponytail. I'm done with the season seasoning. I've had a pretty good day off. I didn't bake as much as I wanted to. But you made some marshmallows, which is tasty. Yeah, we might make some mince pies tomorrow. But I still want to make stuff before Christmas. Because I have some very specific Christmas recipes that I don't feel I really want in January onwards. So that's the aim of the week. And thank you for coming along with me today. And I will see you at the weekend for the weekend vlog. You're getting so much Sarah this week because you got a lack of Sarah last week. So I hope And you've had like a massive overdose of Ash on the weekend's vlogs so lately. Yeah, so it's time for some Sarah time. So I need to edit this because it's going up tomorrow. So that's what I'm going to do this evening. So I will see you all at the weekend. Bye! Merry Christmas! Happy holidays everyone! And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And check out one of our videos on screen now recommended just for you.